Yo, yeah, what up guys? Toxico here. Hey, so I got some more duels and arenas for you guys from a TBC private server. If you guys want to play as well, I'll link it down below and uh, you can go check it out yourself. Make sure you drop a like and a comment down below. It really helps the channel grow and as the channel grows and I get more subscribers, I will be doing giveaways in the future. Alright, so I open up the groat and then I uh, try to get a kidney before he stone forms. Get the kidney off. Just pumping my damage into him. Alright, so here I try to save my common points for eviscerate but i got feared so i deadly throw instead interrupt his cast keep going on him here i'm gonna vanish because he pops stun form i'm gonna try to sap him uh actually i try to cheap shot but it gets resisted so i gouge instead and then i'm gonna kidney he gets a dot on me so that's kind of bad for me but i still have cloak i'm gonna blind soon blind him here he's gonna trinket he actually doesn't trinket, so I'm just waiting. And I, I, I feel like he's going to fear me after this blind, so right here, I vanish. I vanish his uh, fear, gouge him. Kidney's off uh, cooldown, so I'm about to kidney him. Full kidney. He's out of shadow form, so he's taking a lot more damage. Uh, kick him, he fakes my kick, so I go ahead and deadly throw. Uh, at this point, he's so low, and I still have cloak, so I just cloak. And the duel's over. Alright, so next up I'm fighting this rogue. I go ahead and cheap shot him. I'm gonna kidney next, waiting for his trinket. Kidney him. He trinkets. Uh, I should have vanished here. I got blind instead, so I just wait. Now, this is a very important tip. Uh, if you're fighting another rogue and you still have trinket and they don't have blind, just wait for them to use a global like rupture and then I trinket blind him, so there's no way that he can react. Alright, so now I'm just waiting in between the rupture ticks and I'm gonna get a sap or a cheap shot and uh, just open back up on him. Kidney here, he has no trinket, so I'm just pumping all my damage into him. I should have ruptured here a little earlier, but I used four comm points and I ruptured barely before he gets a gouge off, so that will help me win the duel, and that was it, GG. As you can see here, he kind of was like, what the fuck is going on with the trinket blind? But you just gotta time it for after they use a global and then they'll never be able to counter you really. All right, so we do another duel. Go ahead and let him get the opener this time. Just wait for him. Uh, there he goes with cheap shot. He's gonna kidney me, so I'm trying to spam gouge. Uh, he, he actually evasioned it. I tried to cheap shot him, but the rupture gets me out. That was kind of bad. Uh, he re cheap shots me into a full kidney, but he dodged my kidney before, so this duel is just not going in my favor. So I trinket blind him. I still have a rupture, so I know he's not gonna blind me yet. He's gonna trinket soon. He trinkets. I vanish. Uh, cheap shot him. Here, I'm gonna gouge. And I'm just going to run away because my kidney's off cooldown, or on cooldown. So I go ahead and get a re-stealth. And from this point, I use my perception because human OP. Uh, find him, sap him. And at this point, I turn the duel around pretty good. I'm able to get a, another sap into a garrote, into a kidney. And this time it doesn't get dodged. I am able to get a rupture. And I get him pretty low here. I'm able to finish him off almost. And the bleeds do the rest after I get blinded. Alright, so going straight into Arena, we're fighting a Dis Priest and a Affliction Warlock. It's me and a Hunter going in. I'm going to try to get a Sap on the Priest. Um, I think we want to go Lock here after the Shield ends. So I'm just kind of waiting on his Shield. I get a Sap on the Priest. He's way back. The Hunter can open up now. Go ahead and get a Cheap Shot. The Shield's still up, but it's about to end, so I Kidney him. I, I Re-Sap him so the Hunter can pump damage. At this point, the hunter and me overlap a bit. He silent shots, but I cheap shot at the same time. But it's okay because the priest trinkets, and then I blind him. So then I slice and dice, switch back to the lock, and it's pretty much GG. This lock was pretty bad, but I just figured I put this game in because I blinded his trinket pretty fast. So actually, the hunter's pretty low here. He actually ends up dying, but he's able to get a silence on the priest and then uh, get some damage on the lock. So I'm able to finish off the lock actually. And then it's just me, uh, 1v1 in the priest, but I have a lot of dots on me and I get feared here. So I'm just spamming my cloak as fast as I can. He's going to try to mind blast me. I get really low here, I cloak, I shiv him, go ahead and kidney him. He doesn't have a trinket, so I run away, trying to bandage up a bit. Uh, he misses his mess spell, so I go ahead and get a resap and I cheap shot him, uh, new opener. Kidney him here, and resists. Uh, 
get feared, so that's pretty bad for me. Here he kind of makes a mistake. He dots me and runs away with a Shadow Fiend on me, but I have Cloak in 20 seconds or 15 seconds, so I think if he would have pressured me more, I probably would have died here, maybe. But anyways, I go ahead and Kidney him, or Gouge him, Eviscerate, Garrote him, and my Cloak's almost off cooldown now, so I Kidney him. Here, the dot's almost about to fade, so I run away, try to banish again. My banish is about to be off cooldown. Uh, I sap him, bandage up. I think at this point he's getting pretty pissed, so I go ahead and try to finish the duel or the fight. Uh, go ahead and cheap shot and do a kidney. He doesn't. He has a trinket, so I'm being careful, waiting for him to trinket. I'm gonna blind him. I know he's getting trinket, so I run to this pole and I line of sight him right here. This is a perfect place to line of sight. He gets a dot on me, but it's kind of late. I mean, I'm able to gouge him, and I have almost full combo points, so I shot a step, eviscerate, and he's dead. All right, so here's some games with me and this rogue. All right, on, all right get on the shaman. The DK, what are you talking about? Alright, so we're looking for the druid. Uh, he's stream sniping um, the other rogue in Discord, so I think that's why we can't find him. But uh, we just go ahead and keep looking. Found him here. Cheap shot. Do a kidney. Rupture him, garrote him, try to put as many bleeds as I can, and get uh, wound poison up. Now he eats that blind, but... He gets cheap shotted. At this point, the Shadow Priest can't really do much. He tries to heal, but he has five stacks of wind poison, so it's pretty much GG. <laughs> Alright, so last game here, we're uh, fighting the same team. I'm gonna try to find the Druid here. Uh, found him. Go ahead and cheap shot him. Kinda wasted my Shadow Step, but it's okay. Kidney. I vanish before I get any dots on me. I'm gonna Garrote. Rupture. All right, here I pop evasion in case he tries to bash me. Uh, the priest fears, even though I cloaked. Uh, so I don't know. Got unlucky with that. Try to cheap shot dr and eviscerate. I'm just trying to keep the pressure up on the druid. Uh, I dr blind him after your trinkets. Uh, the other rogue does expose armor. That's actually really good. And I'm gonna kidney here. Uh, get a second lead. Uh, so I go ahead and line because he's in bear form. Here I have a dot on me, but I'm just lining and the other druid's kind of scared, so he's just running away. Uh, in between my dot ticks here, I re-stealth, get another sap. And at this point, I'm just trying to get to the pillar so I can bandage. Uh, the druid probably should open on me here, but I think he's far away, pretty scared, so he's in stealth somewhere. Uh, I get a re-stealth. As you can see, uh, the Shadow Priest is like half mana, so I'm kind of just playing the long game now. He resists my kidney, and I get feared. This kind of sucks for us right here, but I'm able to uh, cloak, slice and dice, get back on the Druid. I actually just Shadow Step him to get to the pillar. He gets one more dot on me, but I mean, it's just one dot, it's okay. I kill a Siphon as fast as I can, so he doesn't get any mana back. <laughs> And I'm just laughing at this point because I'm getting so many restells and so many bandages off, which is kind of funny. <laughs> so yeah, at this point I'm just waiting for my dot tick. To, this would have been a great time for the druid to open on me, but he never did, so I just get another restealth. Sap is uh, drinking right there. So I'm going to start pressuring the priest soon because he's getting low on mana. Uh, if he starts drinking and he's immune to sap DR, you can actually distract him and it will stop the drinking, so that's a good tip to have. Uh, so I go ahead and bandage, and I'm going to keep going towards this priest. I don't want him to get too much mana off. He's immune to sap, so I go ahead and cheap shot. It gets resisted. I get feared. I instantly trinket. I'm just pressuring the priest really hard now. Kidney him. I'm, win I'm having the other rogue open on the druid when he comes out, which is good. I blind Kathy, which is the shad priest. Alright, so now we're going back on the druid hard. Uh, the priest trinkets. He's trying to help this druid, but... He has four stacks of wind poison, so that healing is not going to really do much. I go ahead and uh, he's Kathy has almost no mana, so I go ahead and try to get one more restealth, and then we're just going to open back up on the Shadow Priest, put mine poison on him with my dagger, and then I switch back to my uh, sword and go ahead and fist rage in there, and he's dead. <laughs>
I just thought it was so funny here that I got like 20 restells. I don't know, but I got like 10 restells. Alright, so if you guys like commentary videos like this with arenas and duels, make sure you comment and like down below, and I'll see you guys next time.